Hello, folks. Uh, this is again uh, 2018, October, November, paper 4-2, and the question number is 8. It is concerned with the chapter of electromagnetic induction. So, uh, the first question says that uh, define magnetic flux density. So, um, I, I'll not be dealing with that because it's a definition part which we can, you can just go through the text. So, my main focus is on the conceptual part which follows in question number B. It says that a stiff copper wire is uh, balanced horizontally on a pivot. So, we have a copper wire here, twisted in a different manner, multiple times twisted. Uh, it is balanced horizontally on a pivot. So, this is the pivot as shown in the figure. Uh, sections P, Q, Q, R, and R, R, yes. So, this section, this section of the wire are situated in a uniform magnetic field of flux density B. Flux density B here. Uh, it doesn't tell the direction. We have to find out uh, between the poles of a permanent magnet. So, these are the poles of the magnet here. The perpendicular distance of P, Q, R is from the pivot is uh, 7.5 centimeter. So, this is 7.5 centimeter. So, from here to here also 7.5 centimeter. From here to uh, here also 7.5 and from here to here also 7.5 so it's a bit angled view here so we have to analyze it properly <coughs> uh, when a current of 2.7 ampere is passed through the wire current here a small mass of 45 milligram so it is 45 milligram is placed a distance 8.8 centimeter 8 centimeter from the pivot in order to restore the balance of the wire so that means that when you apply magnetic field here, uh, they, that creates a force which it tilts this thing like this, which tilts this thing like this. And when you place uh, a small mass here, it again it uh, restores it back to the previous state. So that means the magnetic field creates a downward force here. Magnetic field creates a downward force here. So from here, what we have to do is, uh, we first have to have to uh, find the direction of the magnetic field, which will be useful for our future number C or D or whatever it is. So let's, let's do that. So here the direction of current is like this. It should be like this here, like this here, like this, uh, like this, like this, like this, like this. The return path here. So the current is in this direction. The force is in this direction. Of course, if we have to create this sort of uh, torque or moment, the force should be in this direction. So this is the Lorentz force here. So from that, we have to uh, find the direction of the magnetic field. So that requires the knowledge of the Fleming's left hand rule here. So this is the left hand rule. So if I have uh, this is the magnetic field strength and this is the direction of the current, this gives the direction of the force here. So here the force is like this. The force is down. So we have the current is like this. Current is going like this in this direction. Direction. Uh, the force is down here. So a bit uh, 3D view here. Force is down. Down. So magnetic field should be somewhere in this direction. So 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 we have to have magnetic field going like this. So it means this this is the magnetic field here. Magnetic field, magnetic field like this. So this should be n. This should be the n pole. I have drawn n in reverse. Why? You should think yourself. This is the s pole. This is the s pole. So n s, the magnetic field will be somewhat like this. So it goes like this, like this, like this, and like this. So current should be in this direction. Now, in the next page, what we are given is, what we are given is, explain why when the current is switched on, the current in the section, the current in the sections, PQ and RS, yes. so let me do it like this, let me fold it like this, so that I can see uh, both pages here, I can see both pages at once, simultaneously, so what it says is, explain why when the current is uh, switched on, the currents in the sections, PQ and PQ and RS uh, does not affect the balance of the wire. So it's because uh, with this magnetic field and with the currents like these things, let us calculate the force here. So if I apply this magnetic field and if the current is downward, downward, the force is in this direction. Force is in this direction. So the force on SR is in this direction. Similarly, the force in PQ will be so only current is magnetic field like this, current like this, force like this. So that means the force will be in this direction. The force will be in this direction. So that means uh, the force on SR and PQ will be horizontal. They are not vertical. So that's why they cannot contribute to the rotation of the coil. They are horizontal. They are not vertical. So that's why they cannot contribute to the rotation of the coil. So that's why uh, they cannot disfigure the balance of this thing. 
So, and in, in, in other words, what you can see is, it's just like holding our hands like this, like this. If I do like this, there's no rotation, just the forces against each other. So the forces like this, they'll try to pull this thing like this, and so there is no rotation at all. Now, in question number two, what you're given is, the length of section QR is 1.2 centimeter. So this QR is 1.2 centimeter. So length of QR is equal to 1.2 centimeter. And this is equal to 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters. Then we have several things here. Current is equal to current is equal to 2.7 ampere. Nothing to convert. The small mass is 45 milligram. So m is equal to 45 mg, and that's equal to in terms of kg, it will be equal to 45 into 10 to the power minus 6 kg. So large factor here for conversion. Uh, then we have this distance is equal to, this is simply distance is equal to 8.8 .8 centimeter and that's equal to 8.8 .8 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters. Then we have again this distance here, some distance here, it is uh, another, so let us say this is D2 and this is D1 equal to 7.5 centimeter, meter that's equal to 7.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters. So we have all the things ready here. Now, the torque produced by this thing is clockwise, so that's a tau clockwise is equal to, is equal to this force here, the force here, which is m into g into this distance. This distance is, it is d2, and that's equal to m is 45 into 10 to the power minus 6 into 9.81 into d2 is 8.8 .8 into 10 to the power minus 2. That is tau clockwise. And the tau anti-clockwise is equal to the downward force here. Let us say this is force F. This F into this D1. The distance from the fulcrum to the line of application of the force. So that's equal to, uh, that is D1 here. D1. And the force is equal to B into I into LQR. LQR. And uh, sine theta is equal to 1 because the direction of line of force is this. And it's like this, so they should be perpendicular. Like this and like this, they should be perpendicular here. So it doesn't look perpendicular because it's, we are in a different plane here. So sin is equal to 1 and we don't need to uh, put it uh, into this is D1. So that's equal to B, we have to find out, into I is 2.7 into LQR is 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 2 into D1 is equal to 7.5 into 10 to the power minus 2. Now, during the balance condition, we should have tau anti-clockwise equal to tau clockwise. Now, if I, my equation will be this equal to this. So, this B will be equal to, this B will be equal to this thing, this thing, divided by this thing. So, B will be equal to this thing divided by this thing. So, if I do it in the calculator, the value will come out to be like this. So, let me use the calculator here. So, 45 exponent minus 6 into 9.81 into uh, into 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 8.8 I'm not be using this because it will cancel by one of these two so divide it divide it it will be 2.7 into 1.2 exponent minus 2 into 7.5 only because I'm not using this because this cancelled by this, as I mentioned previously. So bracket equal to. So 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 the value of B comes to be equal to. So this gives B is equal to 0 0.015986 and so on Tesla. And that's equal to 0 0.016 Tesla. If I round it up to 2SF. So the value is equal to 0 0.016 and Tesla. So this is the answer to this uh, question. So, uh, though the question is uh, seems to be long, there's only one in which, in which we have to do mathematics and others are theoretical questions.